What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, we had quite the ending, right? We had Tenmyoji's ending, where we learned about Quark's upbringing in the hands of Tenmyoji. We also got to see Zero Senior for the first time, and we were left with plenty of questions. And in this episode, we're going to see what happens if we choose a little bit differently, or instead choose to betray... What's interesting is I thought we were going for a bad ending, right? When we chose Ally initially, I thought we were headed towards a game over. Um, but it turns out that that was the ending that actually gave us the most information about Tenbyoji and, and Quark and so forth. But this time around, we're going to choose Betray. We're going to prevent them from getting out. And presumably, just Clover is going to escape. And it's going to be a game over in that regard. I had a decision to make. Should I trust Quark and Tenbyoji? Yada yada yada. <laughs> We, uh, we've walked through this exercise before. Alright, Betray it is. Oof. My voice is a little bit sore. I, was, I had to speak up quite a bit last night. So it's a little bit strained today. But anyways, let's see if anybody else voted differently as a result. So here are the results. Man, we haven't interacted with Phi much lately, have we? So double betray, same. Okay, same. Oh, interesting! So it is a double betray. Okay, they didn't actually change Temujin Quark's decision. So it is likely going to be a Clover leaves us all behind. Hey, what's the deal? Quark had nothing to do with it. Okay, so that's the same for the most part. So why'd you choose Betray? Couldn't I ask you the same thing? I don't think really this is the time for a fight, though. Look. Clover's over by the, no by the door. What? Oh no. Okay, so they just really just kind of cut to the chase this ending. Before we know it, Glover's over there and the door is opening. And with that, we have nine seconds before the game ends. Ah, the, the number nine door. Crap, she opened it. Why? Clover, wait! Clover, what the heck do you think you're doing? I'm going to call the others. What? I'll get justice for Alice. Justice? Wait, do you mean... This music is so good. The number nine door opened, the usual deal. Time for me to go! No! Please, Clover, wait! Like, heck, I'm just gonna let you walk out of here. Deal left to Clover, his fists raised. Clover easily avoided him and moved toward the door. You should've used your dagger, Dio. Your Myrmidon dagger. Goodbye. I caught one last glimpse of her face as she slid through the door. It was a mask of ice. Is this not the timeline where we show the proof, though, that Alice wasn't actually killed? By someone else, that is. Anyways, the usual deal about the Nonary game ending. Oh, no extra commentary, no complaints, no nothing, just... Alright, jumping right into the game over text. <laughs> so that was a pretty quick ending, that's for sure. We will save here. And... Back to the timeline we go. So now the question, of course, is do we go here? 
and start all the way back there? Or do we go to this point in the timeline earlier, right? There isn't enough antiviral medication. And now, of course, we know where it is in the laboratory. And so, or, so, or something else, maybe there's another piece of information that uh, we can use to maybe replicate the antibodies or, or something like that. Um, that'll enable us to go down that timeline. I will say, at the moment, I am feeling like I can tolerate more of a uh, of an early game story. So I think we're going to go back to this very first AV game and work from here. What decisions have we made up until this point? We chose the yellow door, and that led us to the infirmary. After we escaped from the infirmary, we came to the AB game, and we initially chose to ally. However, this time around, we're going to choose to betray. I don't even remember who we're playing with. Oh. Answer question, or er, question answered. Well, you won. The decision's yours. Now decide. Ally. Or betray. This is our first AB game, isn't it? In that last moment before the counter reached zero, I made my choice. Betray. Da -da. I don't even know who we're betraying. Who did we explore the infirmary with? Was it Luna? Getting a little tired of reading the same Ambidex narrator uh, dialogue each timeline, each AV game. You guys know it well enough. It's fine I stepped out of the AV room. I could see the others running toward the projection, shoving and pushing to get closer. Temyoji was left behind, his footsteps a slow, heavy plod. What had happened to make him like that? Chose betray, huh? That's messed up. What? You said I should. Hey, I didn't say that. I just asked you a question. What would happen to our BP if Temyoji chose to betray us? It was a leading question. <laughs> oh, I get it. I was wondering why you were so happy to let me choose after you lost in rock, paper, scissors. You were planning to use me as a scapegoat all along. Was I? <laughs> that smug smile. Darn it. Ah, and of course we have Zero Jr. again for the first time in a minute. Yo, what's up? Sigma Kun! Fai Kun! That's right, he calls everybody. Hey, what are you kids doing over there? We're about to announce the results. Anyway, we need to go have a look at the results first. Come on. Hey, wait! Crap. Alright, so it seems like we were paired up with Temyoji. But let's see how everything turned out. Good, good, good. Looks like you're all here, finally. Let's get ready to rock. I love the voice acting for Zero Jr. Oh, they betrayed Luna? Oh, sad. And we betray Temyoji this time around. Very interesting. So every pair of voting was one ally and one betray. K and Clover betray Luna. Dio and Quark betray Alice. And then we, of course, betray Temyoji. Yikes. So Luna, Alice, and I, er, and Temyoji are all on the verge of dying. Here are the results from your game. I got betrayed? He chose ally. Why? He chose betray last time. Last time? What are you talking about? Of course, and this is the, you know, the timeline jumping around. Oh, uh, nothing. The truth was, I didn't know why I'd said that either. The words had just appeared in my mouth before I knew I was saying them. 
You're the one who chose betraying. I should be asking you why. I told him you might choose betraying. Fine, you... I can't believe you. I never choose betraying. I trusted you two, and of course we know there's the alternate timeline where he does choose betraying. And this is what I got. Ah. Uh, I apologize. Fi, you don't need to apologize. I was the one who did it. I pushed the button. Oh. Yeah, I guess you've got a point. Huh? Well, wait, what? It's Sigma's fault. <laughs> Fi is just playing Sigma so well right now. You want to blame someone? Blame him. What the heck, Fi? <laughs> what, you gonna fight each other now? I don't care which one of you pushed the button. I'm never trusting either of you again. This isn't over. Just you wait. Yikes. Definitely don't want to make an enemy of Temyoji. I tried to think of something to say, but before I could come up with the right words, he was gone. I spun around. Fi! What the... <laughs> but she was gone too. Oh, where the heck? How'd she just disappear like that? She probably jumped. As I looked around the room for Fi, I noticed that Clover K and Luna seemed to be having some kind of an argument as well. I moved closer and did my best to listen surreptitiously. Why did you do it? Sorry, I guess I want to get out of here as soon as possible, you know? I apologize, but I felt the same way. But... If we all choose Ally, then we could all escape together. It only takes three turns to get six points. That would be enough to get us out. Why? Well, of course we know that. But if we betray, then it's faster. If your opponent chooses ally, and you choose betray, then you gain three points. Do that twice and you get six points. Do you see? If you ally, then you have to play the AB game three times. But if you betray somebody, you only have to do it twice. Why are you acting like that's the right thing to do? I almost feel like you're blaming me or something. Honestly, I think this might be one of the first times we hear Luna truly upset, right? And many times she's like disappointed, she's sad, downtrodden, and quiet. But right now I feel like we're actually hearing some anger in her voice for the first time in this game. That I can recall at least. And the voice acting is incredible. We aren't trying to blame you. But I mean, if you just think about it, wouldn't it make sense to choose Betray? Forget it. I understand now. It was silly of me to trust you guys. Oh no! Oh no! I hate it. Luna's so pure. She's so pure. I feel so bad whenever we feel like, you know, or I feel like we break that innocence of her, right? And now she's gonna go about the rest of the Nonary game just, you know, not trusting anyone. Ugh. Luna walked off with her head buried between her shoulders. Her back trembled as if perhaps she were crying, but I couldn't see her face. Alice, Dio, and Quark, however, seem to be having some issues of their own. 
Fine. You just wait. Man, this is all your fault, Quark. My fault? Why are you blaming me? They exchanged dark looks, then stumped off in different directions. Zero, when does the next round start? What makes you think we'll be having another round? Well, you said round one. I think we've heard this before, haven't we? Yes, we have. Okay. It's been a minute, so it wasn't immediately apparent, but very quickly remembered that, yes, indeed, we have heard this conversation before. Alright, so the next question is going to be, what's the next room to explore? We're really getting kind of close to exhausting all the different escape rooms, haven't we? Right? We've explored quite a few at this point, and this will be the last of the main branches of the escape rooms that we can actually explore, right? So I guess in the past, what have we done? The lounge? We can go to the crew quarters. It's fine. And it's still skipping, so I'm not convinced it'll be entirely different. I'm curious, though. Ah, uh, okay, so in this timeline, Alice and Clover tell us of their history about encountering Zero, being on the ship for the events of 999, etc. Alright, we'll go to the lounge. I don't know why, but we'll see. So yeah, they, they tell us that they know each other from this past. They both endured 999 and its events, and since then have been training together. Although they're still a bit nebulous about what's going on. That's right, this is the one where, in the infirmary, didn't we, like, overhear them talking about headquarters or something? Let's see if anything's different at the... Lounge. No, it's not. Okay, so they talk about the Lunar Eclipse. And... Radical Six, it seems. Okay... And there was one more place to go. The infirmary. Okay, so interestingly enough... All of this sort of dialogue is the same between these timelines, which is a bit of a surprise. But honestly, at this point in the game, pretty convenient, right? Like, last episode was awesome. Learning about Temyoji, learning about Quark. That time we got to learn about Dio. I mean, I want to have those episodes more often. Right? Where I'm really digging deep into the characters' backstories. Learning about who they are, why they are, the way they are now. And then putting all that together into the context of each decision they're making, each action they're taking. And then, of course, trying to put it all together. But, anyways, we have some new stuff here with Tenmyoji. Hmm, Sigma, what do you want? What do I want? What, you think I'm here to play Doctor? Only if you're secretly Clover. What? Sigma, Sigma's just making moves. Sigma's always... Sigma is always down, <laughs> even if it's amidst some crazy pandemic, even if he's trapped in a game where he could potentially die at any moment, he might not make it out alive. He's like, hey, Clover, though. I don't know. I mean, if you, uh, if the mood's just right. <laughs> Tell you what, how about I'll be the doctor? You get on the exam table and I'll cut you open with that scalpel over there. I knew that was going to be the, I guess, threat he would use. Man, are you still upset? What the heck do you think? My BP is down to one thanks to you. Come on, I already told you I was sorry. <laughs> yes, and that makes it all better, you baka. Well, then what the heck am I supposed to do? Get out. Seems like I'm already doing that. You don't know the half of it. Just get out of my sight. Easy solution then. Just close your eyes. Leave before I make yours black. The last guy I fought went home in an ambulance. Shouldn't have picked a fight with a the paramedic then. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> Shut up. Fine. I shoved my hands in my pocket and looked around the room. I actually really like that response from Sigma. <laughs> Shouldn't have picked a fight with a paramedic then. So, is it just you here? On this side of the divider, yeah. 
This side. Quark's over there, having a look around. And there's... You really gonna make me say it? Ah, yes, the old lady. Oh, the lady who was murdered, you mean. Yeah. You've been acting kind of weird ever since we found her. Why is that? What? Isn't that normal? We found a dead body. Who the heck doesn't get a little freaked out? What ain't normal is all of you just running around like nothing happened. Heck, some of you probably don't even remember she's in here. That's just because we've got a lot of other stuff to think about. Can you blame them for being a little single-minded? They're trying to escape from a game that's just made it clear it has no problems killing them. Just trying to survive, huh? Yeah. Then don't you think we gotta figure out, or ought to figure out who to, who killed her first? What does that have to do with anything? You don't think much, do you? Yeah, I don't know, Sigma, you've had some pretty clever snappy responses, but that was not one of them. I'll bet you a pound of neodymium the Baku who grabbed us is the same Baku who killed her. Who else could it be? If Zero is one of us, then you're saying one of us murdered the old lady? You saw it too, right? The person in the gas mask? Yeah. Did you notice anything? Not really. The gas made pretty short work of me. Me and Quark. What? You and Quark were grabbed together? Yeah, yeah, we were. Have we heard this before? We have. Okay. Okay. So what was just said? Sigma Mask, alright, tell me this then. When and where did Zero Senior abduct you? And Demeter's like, yeah, right, like I'm gonna tell that to somebody who betrayed me. Alright, fine. I'll just ask Quark. Quark! Hey! Stop it! Quark! Don't tell him a darn thing! Whoa, you're getting more suspicious by the... I started toward the partition as I spoke, with the intention of finding Quark. I found him as I rounded the divider, but... Ah, yes, Quark down. C Quark! And this is the typical scene, where Quark is down, Luna does the scanning, despite having been betrayed and arguably probably upset with everybody. Quark wants to try to kill himself, we anesthetize him, and we learn about Radical Six, we talk about it a little bit, and then it's like, oh my goodness, the doors are gonna open in a few minutes, so let's get off and figure out what we're gonna do for that. We have all these pairings. And now we say, how are we going to do this? I won't go with Sigma. He betrayed me last time. What about Phi? You hit the button, right, Sigma? Well, yes, but... I don't want to go with Dio. Same reason. I can't trust that he won't betray me again. Thanks a lot, Quark. You've single-handedly torpedoed my reputation. Well, that leaves us with option B. No. We can't do option B. Why not? I'm sorry, Luna, but I can't trust you or Fi either. The way he is right now, someone's going to have to carry Quark. I just can't afford to give him to someone I don't trust. I thought you trusted Fi. Not enough for this. Then what do you intend to do? Quark shifted silently in Kay's arms. 
Quark is a solo, as are you, Temyoji. Solos can't pair with one another. You do remember that. Yeah, of course I do. I didn't say there wasn't anyone I trusted. There's one person. Who do you trust then? Clover. What? I'm a little bit curious about this too. Me? Yeah, that's what I said. Why? I can't tell you. Wait, what? Why does Temyoji trust Clover? I guess maybe he already knows something about... Clover and Alice, but even then, why would he trust Clover and not Alice, right? Why can he trust Clover with Quark? I just know that you'll keep him safe. Um, well, that's nice of you to say, but... My partner is Sigma. Are you sure you want me to take him? It's fine. Clover, you just vote by yourself. Make Sigma wait outside the AB room. No. If Clover takes Quark, then we have to go with option C, right? It's interesting. Temyoji is making some big plays before we have to uh, choose these doors. That means I'll be stuck with Dio. There's no way I'm going to let that happen. Who do you want to pair up with, then? Isn't it obvious? Quark. Remember what the announcement said? Something about how the system will automatically vote ally for anyone who doesn't enter their own vote in time? If Quark doesn't wake up by then... No! <laughs> Temyoti's like, no, now that Alice has this deep, in, or this vocalized incentive to keep Quark from voting in the next round, I don't know if that's a good plan. <laughs> this is exactly why I can't trust any of you. One minute remains until chromatic doors close. We don't have time to argue this. I'm curious, if Clover and Sigma were paired together and Quark was their partner, why would Temyoji feel comfortable with that, right? Clover's gonna wanna... Clover could very easily pick Betray, as could Sigma, knowing that, you know, Quark is gonna pick Ally, both of them could pick Betray and just get 9 points. So I'm not seeing, although I'm sure there is a reason, I'm not seeing why Temyoji is so confident that Clover would keep Quark safe in the short run, and then in the long term, too. Hmm. I don't know. We don't have time to argue this. Let's take a vote. Those opposed to C? Alice and Dio's hands went up. What? Why don't you want C, Dio? Well, if she's got that much of a hate on for me, that hardly plays into my hands, does it? Hmm. Fine, whatever. I assume anyone who didn't raise their hand is alright with option C, then. No one objected. I kept my mouth shut, too. Just as Alice had said, there was an excellent chance that Quark would default to Ally. If that happened, he'd make a great opponent. I'd choose Ally, of course, but it would be good to not have to worry about him choosing Betray. Alright, 6 to 2 in favor. Wait! What about me? Stay here if you don't like it. I'm 
I imagine your partner might have something to say about that, though. Kay handed Quark to me gently, then crossed his arms and turned to face Alice. Her jaw clenched as she stared up at him, and I could see the gears turning inside her head. Fine. Not a very smooth negotiation, right? Ten seconds remain. Hurry, Clover. The door's closing. Right. Hey! Take care of Quark. Don't worry about it. I got a good grip on Quark, nodded Temyoji, and took off for the door. Our feet slapped against the metal floor as we ran. The empty voice of the announcer echoed in my ears. Alright, colored doors have closed, or chromatic doors have closed. So where are we now? I'm trying to think of rooms that have been mentioned by other people in other timelines that we haven't explored yet. And nothing's immediately coming to mind. Huh? Is this a dead end? Well, there are three doors here. But it looks like they're all locked. Hmm. What's this thing? It's got a lever on it. Can you pull the lever? Come on, my hands are kind of full right now. Oh yeah. I could take Quark then. <laughs> She's like, oh don't worry, I'll do something so that you can still pull the lever. You really don't want to touch that thing, do you? Well, I mean, look at it. It looks suspicious. Like I'm gonna touch it and whoosh, a bunch of poison needles fly out of the wall. Maybe if I had like a piece of wood to move it with or something. I think you might be a little paranoid. Then you do it. Fine, fine. Clover wins out in the end. I shifted Quark over to one shoulder and flipped the switch with my free hand. The treatment center. Oh, you're right. You're right, as in, like, I'm talking to you. But no, that's... That's true, we've heard about this, but we haven't actually escaped from the treatment center. We've spent plenty of time in here, so we actually know what it looks like and what, you know, some very important events happen in the treatment center, but we haven't really, you know, gone deeply into its mechanics, nor have we escaped from it. See? No needles. Everything's fine. For now. Only one of the doors opened. Did you see the plaque on that door before it opened? I think it said something like treatment center. Do you think that's some kind of medical thing? First an infirmary, now this? Why do I keep ending up in these places? I glanced over at Quark, asleep on my shoulder. Hey. You know what? We may have lucked out. Huh? What do you mean? Well, if this is where they treat people, maybe they've got something that can cure Quark. Oh. Yeah. Let's head on in then. Okay. That is actually a really serendipitous event. Wow, that lion painting is something. There are the treatment pods. A clock. What are those? It says on the side. Treatment pod. So I guess it treats people? Maybe it can help Quark. Yeah. Naturally, of course, we're trapped in here. Darn, no good. It's locked. Let's take a look around. Maybe something in here will tell us how to unlock this door. Okay, and we might of course get some more information in that safe, too. I know some of the later ones haven't been giving us much utility, uh, but, but these earlier game safes tend to include more information that kind of elaborates on the world around us. Clover nodded and bounced off to examine the room. I lay Quark down just outside of the door to the treatment pot, or to the treatment center. Clover might have been overly paranoid about the lever, but there was no harm in being cautious. Hang on there, little guy. We'll get you fixed up soon. I ruffled his hair gently, then turned and headed back into the room. I had some investigating to do. Alright, 
So we've made it to our next escape room, the treatment center. But of course, as you guys might imagine, we are going to be tackling this room in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a little bit of a shorter episode. My apologies, my voice is a little bit strained and the timing just kind of works out well to end things here. But we did see that very brief ending uh, that was the alternative to the immense... Um, or the really long and very uh, plentiful ending we got in the previous episode. And yeah, I, I feel like I'm able to more easily tolerate the early game at the moment. So we can finish up this timeline or these little branches and then we get to the really juicy stuff at the ends of all the different timelines, which is quite exciting. So hope you guys are looking forward to it just as much as I am. But until the next episode, this has been Night Zero and this mission is complete.